everybody, Howard here with Four Sticks from Zeppelin IV, another one from the fourth album. And uh, this one's a pretty easy one to play. It's just got a few parts to it. Uh, but as is often the case with Jimmy Page, there's more than one guitar, okay? So I'm going to show you how uh, I do this. And in fact, this is one of two songs that I uh, contributed to the uh, Zeppelin tribute CD, Get the Let Out. I did this one along with going to California, and maybe I'll do that one in a future uh, video as well, okay? So let's get into it. Right off the bat, I'm in standard tuning. We got a good, crunchy, heavy sound for the main riff, and I'm going to show you how Jimmy plays this, okay? He starts off without playing what I call the pickup note. He does that twice, and then you'll notice on the third time, he starts playing that pickup note, and I'll show you what I mean by that. <laughs> Right, uh, so you can see it on the tab. There's a little bit of muting back here, and then what I was talking about uh, concerning that pickup note, what I'm calling a pickup note, is the first couple of times he plays it right out the gate, he plays, and he just hits that G note, uh, the fifth fret on the D string, and gives it a little kind of a quarter of a bend, just a bluesy feel, and he does it twice in a row like that. Then he starts adding this little pickup note right here before he goes there. So you can see everything's with a downstroke except for that G note. Where you give it a little bit of a bend, right? Uh, one of the things I did on the recording that I made for the tribute CD that I just mentioned is I add that C sharp on the A string to it, which is kind of cool if you want to do that. It gives it a real kind of nasty, raunchy sound. So I'm hanging on to that C sharp. And that gives it kind of a, a cool kind of dissonance, a pagey thing, right? Okay, But you don't have to do that, of course. Otherwise, you would just play it normally. And then what we do is we go to a power chord, A power chord. I'm doing five, seven, and seven, which you can see, and you give it a quick down up. Drop it a whole step to G and slide off of it. And there's your main riff. Then we move into the uh, second part of the song, okay, uh, where he's playing these octaves. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to a clean tone for this because I want to show you how I combine that with the shimmering open strings, okay, the open chord. Uh, I'm going to use some chorusing on this just to give it that extra shimmer, <laughs> if you will, okay? So I'm gonna switch to a clean tone and uh, get that going for you. So as you can hear, I have a really clean tone going on, uh, nice and bright, uh, with some chorusing just to add that shimmer to it. So uh, this is how I approach this on one guitar because he's got those ringing strings, open droning notes and all of that. So I play the octaves, as you can see on the tab. As you can also see, I've got some open strings in there, right? And I attack the rhythm as they're playing it. So I'm playing down, down, up, down. And you're going to use that for each octave, okay? So how I do this is with every other octave, I swing down and hit the open G, B, and E strings with it, right? So you wind up with this. riff. 
riff, right? So let me play that for you real slow. Once again, the strumming is down, down, up, down, and that's for each one, right? But as I said, every other octave, I'm employing those open strings as well. Or you can keep the rhythm going as well. That's kind of nice if you're the only guitar player in the band. Again, so nice and slow, but all of it. <laughs> big A sus2 chord at the end with the E and the bass. Really kind of fun and cool to play it that way. And if you don't want to, you can just play uh, the octaves, you know, keep it on the heavy tone or whatever. And then we move to the uh, third part of the song, which is really cool, one of my favorites. And I'm using the same sound. I'm keeping a clean tone with the chorus and everything going, all right? And I play this part like this. <laughs> So that's a string of double stops, and uh, I play it, I kind of let other strings ring through a little bit, uh, but once again, just trying to sort of combine the guitar parts together into one collective whole. So these are all double stops, you can see them on the screen, I'll play them nice and slow. It's a combination of major and minor thirds, and I leave the A string, open A string, ringing through all of that. <laughs> The second one is and you just alternate between the two he plays each of them twice right so keeping that a string ringing you can kind of keep strumming if you want to but the main thing is when you get to the tail end of each one of those that you do the and it's that same down down up down and hitting those open strings down down up down 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 up down So if I play that really slow, it should go like this. And that's it, okay? Uh, four sticks, just a few easy parts, no guitar solo. And you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching again. Uh, we'll see you guys soon.